Hello. A variety of inhaler devices are available to treat lung conditions. This video will show you how to use your Easy Haler inhaler. If you use your inhaler correctly, you will get more of the medication into your lungs, giving you better control of your breathing problem. But if used incorrectly, you may have poor control of your condition, with the risk of side effects such as a sore throat or mouth infection. You should always sit upright or stand up when using your Easy Haler inhaler. Hold the inhaler upright and shake it firmly three to five times. Remove the protective cover, if you use one, followed by the dust cap. Hold the Easy Haler upright and press the top down until you hear a click. Let go and allow it to click back again. When you're ready, Breathe out gently as far as you comfortably can, but not into the mouthpiece. Now place the mouthpiece into your mouth and between your teeth, but don't bite down on it. Close your lips around the mouthpiece to form a tight seal. Breathe in through your mouth as fast and as forcefully as you can. If you don't breathe in deeply enough, the medication will not reach your lungs. Remove the inhaler from your mouth while holding your breath for at least five seconds. When you can no longer hold your breath, breathe out slowly. If your doctor has told you to take two puffs of the medication, wait for one minute before repeating the procedure. Make sure you shake the inhaler firmly before you begin. As soon as you're finished, replace the dust cap straight away and the protective cap if you're using one. If your inhaler contains a steroid, brush your teeth or rinse your mouth with water and spit it out after every use to prevent mouth infections. Ask your pharmacist if you're unsure whether your inhaler contains a steroid. If you accidentally click the Easy Haler at any time, click it more than once or breathe into the mouthpiece, you need to empty the powder by tapping the mouthpiece on a table or the palm of your hand. The Easy Haler has a dose counter which shows how many doses are left. The counter turns after every fifth dose. When the numbers turn red, there are 20 doses left. When the counter reaches zero, you need to replace the Easy Haler, even though you can still see the powder in the clear window on the back of the Easy Haler. You'll need to replace your Easy Haler within six months, starting from the time that you remove the inhaler from its laminate pouch. If you're unsure about how to use your Easy Haler inhaler or have any other questions, speak to your GP, practice nurse or pharmacist for assistance.